Hello everybody, Ben from MTech here. Uh, so this is the next video in our series on getting started with Minecraft. We've learned how to download and install Minecraft on different devices. We've learned how to find and access those lessons and how to download them. Now we're going to look at how to share those lessons with students uh, via Google Classroom. Uh, so once again, we do recommend that you've gone through the lesson, you've actually entered the Minecraft world on your own, and you've checked it out and make sure that it's appropriate and that you know how to give in students instruction on how to um, meet the objectives of the lesson and exactly to be clear on what you want done in the lesson. Um, but once we've got that, we're ready to share it with students via Google Classroom. So let's check that out. You head over to Google Classroom. I like to head through my ECSD bookmarks bar over to Google Classroom. Enter the classroom that you are going to uh, share the lesson with your students in. Forgive me, I have a lot here. And it can be posted like any other assignment as students can view, all right? So we create our assignment. I actually have one here that I've already created. So volume and area right there. I just attach the MC world file. So how I do that, create assignment. So let's say I was doing um, a post on, I think, what was the other one? Um, coordinate mapping was one of the worlds that I downloaded. So I would give my instructions just as normal. And I would also uh, attach any supplemental uh, materials. Ooh, this is a hard one. There we go. Of course, I spelled it wrong. There we go. Uh, any supplemental materials. So this would be things such as supporting YouTube videos, teaching about a concept. Maybe there is um, a Google Doc that you want them to fill out some um, answers about or take some pictures and put in. Just make sure to attach any supplemental materials as well. But when you're ready, we go, we add that file directly from our computer. And I'm looking for that MC world. So I'm going to upload it from my computer here. Okay. I find and attach that exact world. So mine was coordinate tutorial world. It's gonna take a second to upload and I leave it as students can view file. And when I'm ready and I've got all my supplemental materials, my instructions written, I can click assign right then and there. All right, so sharing those Minecraft worlds or lessons with students really is that easy. It's uploading that MC World file into Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams Classroom uh, for students then to download. Please check out our student series um, for student-friendly videos uh, in explaining to them how to then take that World uh, file from Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams Classroom and then import it into Microsoft Education Edition so that they, they can then um, complete all of those lesson objectives and or demonstrate their learning in that Minecraft lesson for you. Um, so check out our next video for teachers as well, which is on uh, the in-game menu or interface, as well as um, those tutorial lessons that we suggest as possibly a first lesson for your students, but also a great starting point for teachers. We need to remember that not everybody knows how to uh, interact with the Minecraft world, such as movement or breaking and placing blocks or how to access the inventory. So that's in our next video on how to use the interface, Minecraft interface, and suggested tutorial lessons. Thanks for joining us today. Bye.